You know one thing that bugs me? It's seeing like different sort of pops online saying, oh, how to manifest your life every single day. And these videos can actually tend to become more confusing day by day, especially when you're just scrolling and you've watched multiples and multiple sort of videos when they aren't giving you the crucial information you actually need to be able to actually manifest your dream life. So I'm going to make this easy for you. Watch this video and thank me later. Hey guys, my name is Alfredo Naomi and in today's video is going to be different. But first off, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel and you're also a new subscriber, hey boo, hi, you're welcome to the family. So in today's video, I'm going to give you the amazing tips on how I actually manifested my dream life. So there's a whole lot of videos coming out you're still getting stuck you're still getting confused but i'm just going to make this very very brief short and direct and discreet so you're not going to be watching any other video i assure you because i'm going to break it down for you and you're going to see a lot of results now on social media online you're seeing so many methods of how to manifest we have the 369 method we have the seven times seven times seven method yesterday's method we have the pillow method so many of these methods and guess what <laughs> guess what guys i do not even use any of this at all now the method i actually use i'm gonna break it down for you and this method has helped me so much in my life that i never even expected now the time that you're going to be using scrolling on how to manifest this is the confusing yourself that's the initial time you're meant to be using to actually manifest your dream life let me tell you something wherever you are like a whole lot of people have been there i have been there but then i went into my manifestation mode i got into all the steps and look at my lifestyle i manifested it look at the house i'm living in i manifested it look at the career i have i manifested it look at my subscribers i manifested that do you understand and it was super super easy so this is actually how to manifest the first one is understanding manifestation a whole lot of people do not know how to manifest or they don't even know the basic understanding of manifestation when you're manifesting you need to accept one thing accept giving up on your old life and accepting a new journey in life giving up on your old life i mean moving away cutting up some certain friends cutting up some habits leaving your job yes i said it leaving your job these things are going to be very difficult to do and sometimes when you're doing it sometimes it feels like it's so bad it feels like gosh i don't think i can literally get out of this but trust me trust the process trust me guys your life is going to go somewhat better compared to if you actually hadn't taken that step so just hang in there when things are actually going bumpy and you're literally taking the right step in life so when i was manifesting peace when i was manifesting happiness i had to cut out some people in my life guys i had to cut out some toxic friends i had to cut out some toxic habits I had to cut out a whole lot of people just because i needed to find my peace and happiness so you're gonna cut out clubbing Yes, it might get boring. Oh God, my friends are out there, but right now I'm inside. Listen, that time you're using to talk about that, you're going to start investing in putting yourself in a productive state. Also glad I caught a whole lot of things in my life because I'm not going to be where I am right now. I'm not going to be filled with so much happiness. I'm not going to be filled with so much independency. I have so much right now. You just know that your lonely state is going to eventually take you to where you are meant to be. I'm meant to be in abundance, full of abundance, happiness, and peace. So stop sabotaging your abundance cut all of these things out is going to force you to move away from all the certain things and like i said one of the most important factor here in manifestation is trust you know when i started trusting my potentials you know when i started giving everything to god i can't remember the last time i cried 
just because I had to trust God. I had to trust my potential. I trusted myself because I know the universe is going to bless me abundantly. You know that evolution of growth is going to involve a whole lot of difficulties. It's going to involve a whole lot of obstacles, failure. But guess what? It's actually going to prepare you for something bigger that your purpose is. You start saying to yourself, oh, why didn't I not get this? Why didn't I not get that? Mm -mm. Once you start sabotaging yourself, trust me, you're going to stop repelling whatever dream life you are actually thinking of right now. So rule number one, you must meet the vibrational frequency of the type of life you want. This is the chart. Now, below the chart, you can see shame, guilt. Now, below this vibrational frequency chart, down from this point to this point actually tends to repel whatever dream life you want sabotaging comes in jeopardizing your life comes in like so many destructive negative thoughts comes in but once you understand the level of your energy your vibrational frequency in the sense that you start feeling happy peace everything is aligning for your own good you start feeling different that's why i tell people please so always always be thankful so be thankful to the universe for the things you have in your life so you're going to attract more you have to be thankful for the universe oh i'm thankful for the universe for everything i have now now you're going to attract more you have to speak about your dream as if you're already living in it there is no two ways about that you have to start living speaking about the dream life you want now you know what when manifesting jot down what you're grateful for jot everything down if it's money you thank the universe for giving you money you're going to attract more money the good and healthy relationship that you're seeking for in life you're going to thank the universe for love and abundance in your life currently because you're operating at that level of frequency and you're embodying it as a person who gets what they want so now this goes to law of attraction now law of attraction is when you don't attract what you want or you attract what you are you no know, oh you want to start manifesting oh i want peace i want happiness i want this i want that nah you say it like this i am peace i am happiness i am financially abundant grateful for what you already have so you can attract more rule number three is detachment detach from your goals so you can show the universe that everything is going to work out for your good and you're deserving to have that now listen guys i don't mean detach from your goals completely what i mean by detachment is Detach from your goals in the way you're going to be aware of your goals, not obsessed over it. Now, once someone is obsessed over their goals, oh, okay, this is what I want to do. I want to be a CEO of this one. I want to be a this. I want to be a that. I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to be a makeup artist. You start obsessing over the, those goals. You would lose attachment of your initial goals. I'm telling you. Because now you know, start self sabotage oh what if this doesn't happen what if i don't get the job what if i'm not worthy of love what if i am not worthy what if i'm not smart enough for that career you see what you're already doing you're already self sabotaging yourself rule number four guys please do not skip this one out i am begging you listen and listen carefully rule number four is consistent clarity now certain people tend to you know have the wrong narrative of manifestation like oh i want to be i want to have millions in my account um i want to start a makeup business i want to be a uh, no sorry i want to be an entrepreneur to do this, i want to do that listen carefully you need to be careful what you're wishing for figure out exactly what you want and manifest according to it now you saying that you want money you want to be a millionaire no you have to say oh this is the exact amount i would like to see in my bank account at so 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 time you're being exact with what you're you're being discreet and you're being clear about what you want like now you just say oh i want a career i want this no 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 you know that i want a job offer of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, two hundred and fifty k with flexible hours with you know good colleagues not toxic colleagues with good colleagues non-toxic area and a good environment that is a specific manifestation oh i want to be rich why do you want to be rich why do you want to be rich 
if you're gonna be the, if you're gonna be manifesting say i want to be rich because i want to have this level of relaxation in my life i want to be rich so i can walk from anywhere in the world i want to do i want to be specific you can't just say oh i want to be rich and da, 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 da. rule number five patience is virtue guys how would i explain this in particular um okay so I started my YouTube. I've always had passion for YouTube, yeah? So I started my YouTube in 2018, I guess. So when I started off my YouTube, I didn't really have a lot of, you know, subscribers. I think I even had like 50 subscribers then. So I didn't have a lot of subscribers. It was just, it was just alarming. But due to the fact that I had a lot of um, passion for YouTube, I just kept moving. So at some point in my life, when things started getting pressured and you know i allowed myself to think that whatever i was experiencing in my life i felt pressured so at that point i had to now stop doing my youtube do you understand at that point i had to stop doing my youtube and i just felt like ah, well this thing is really not you know growing and everything when i was done with school i was just like now nah, this is obviously what i've always wanted this youtube is obviously what i've always been searching for because it's been in an alignment to who i am as a person you understand so i now started off my youtube properly just last year december and see where we are at growth patience and consistent look at other people it's not everyone that just started boom and everything you need to be patient with your girl not because you're not seeing growth not because you're not seeing subscribers not because you're not seeing support that makes you you know quit now number two is vision board visualization and reprogramming your subconscious mind when it comes to vision board i always tell people this 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 is one of the most easiest ways to actually manifest your dream life or whatever it is that you want now for vision boards yeah you need to write down whatever you want but please be specific write down whatever you want now once you're done writing that we're going to involve images are going to involve so many things the lifespan of what you want like what how you how you visualize your life now, once you, you're done writing your goals guys you can actually do two things I think there's an app called Flix it or something like that that tends to you know um print out those images get a vision board you can go to any supermarket of your choice get a vision board and paste all those pictures there now ask yourself where do i get these pictures we have a whole lot of things i have pin interest download pin interest download pin interest so once you google oh or once you just type oh this is this sort of life oh you want body goals you want car you want this that 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 or you want like a hundred million subscribers on youtube once you press that you're going to see that everything on pin interest now when seeing everything on pin interest guys after doing your whole vision board if you're not going to do it like the vision board i myself i did mine as i'm going to show you here i did mine as um you know a digital stuff that i'm going to see on my phone and also going to see on my laptop this image encouraged me like once i'm up by five or six or whatever when i see those sort of pictures in collection i now have a part of which i need to do you know micro tips and whatever little goals i have to be able to get to that sort of lifestyle i want you need to always know something when you're making a vision board make a vision board that will make you want to jump out of your bed that is major that is very important once you're done with your vision board take it one at a time let's say on your vision board you want to lose weight you want to get to size eight on your vision board you're putting a plank of youtube on your vision board you're putting a, a car you're putting when you're putting your vision board you need to be specific you need to put the sort of the style of the type of car the year the interior you need to know the exact thing you want that's clarity on your vision board now there's so many methods you know i never really like i came across but i never really used it because it was just a bit you know cumbersome for me and it just didn't you know flick fleet into my lifestyle at all and that was the 369 method now how this method works is that you're going to write your goals three times in the morning you're going to write your goals six times in the night you're going to write your goals nine times in the evening 
<laughs> I don't know. It just didn't work for me like that. That's why I specifically ventured into this vision board taking out the picture sticking it sticking that what i want what i want to do what my big goals are i stick all that into somewhere into like an app and i use the canva app to like you know impute all of those things i wanted and just with little addition you literally get what you want especially when you're clear about your dream life now i'm going to talk about the importance of reprogramming your subconscious mind ah your subconscious mind can heal you if you're not careful, I'm telling you. Now, this literally controls your day-to-day -day life and how your life is going to end up. Your subconscious mind is going to sabotage whatever dream life you want. Like, okay, let's say it's money, finances. Oh, I want to venture into this business. Now your subconscious mind is like, oh, you don't have enough money. How would you want to go? Everybody has failed. Is, are you different from everyone? Are you doing that? You're just going to waste a whole lot of money and you're going to feel the same way people feel. Or let's say you want a healthy and good relationship. Your subconscious mind is say, oh, you're not worthy of love. Look at you. Who's going to love you? Who's going to love your, your character? Who's going to accept you for the way you are? Look at you. Like your career, your job, the kind of dream career you want, the car you want, your subconscious question i say oh how do you want to go there you know your family has always had this trauma you people have never been successful in life uh, you're not going to make a difference you're just going to waste your time all over again that, that is your subconscious mind winning over you and now once you start manifesting you need to learn how to reprogram your subconscious mind you need to control that mind in a sort of way that once you start once your mind starts shifting you need to control that mind and say oh i am worthy of love i accept love i receive love i am love you need to control and reprogram your subconscious mind because it's going to jeopardize a whole lot of things, but in your career, but in your goals, but in the sort of dream life you want, but in your, in your relationship, in your marriage, but in your finances. And that's not what you want at all. Now, visualization, visualization, visualization is literally acting as you're living in your dream life currently. So visualization is experiencing the feeling of your desire now this project is literally you matching your energetic frequency and vibration do you how do you how do you visualize now um eh, how you visualize is by implementing scenarios you want of your dream life before you sleep I'm not saying scenarios of oh you'll be thinking about your ex you'll be thinking about nah 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 your crush don't do that scenarios like okay i can imagine myself in the met gala you know, I can imagine myself in a mansion in LA, in Miami. What's the most expensive city? LA, right? I can imagine myself in LA, you know, driving my Ferrari, driving my this, my that. I visualize all of those things before going to bed. They call it Dululu. Dululu is the only Solulu. So, sorry, guys. You need to visualize yourself, seeing what you feel. How do you feel? what is it that you tend to feel spend five minutes on ejecting vibration before heading to bed visualize yourself in that dream place visualize yourself with your dream car visualize yourself with your dream house your kids your family all of those things they actually do work and once you start visualizing you tend to attract what you're implementing in your life. My chapter three is manifesting using the law of assumption. Now this one, yes, is about going into a situation and assuming your desired outcome. This is how manifestation with, um, you know, using the law of assumption works. In a situation whereby, you know, you're in a competition, right? And there are a lot of great competitors. And, you know, someone just come up to you, you assume, you know, listen, <clears throat> listen to me because I'm saying something very important. You're assuming, yeah, assuming someone come up, comes up to you and says, oh, you're the one that won, this, that, 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 that. Now, at that instant, you feel a bit of confidence. You feel a bit like, oh my God, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to win. Even if I don't win, I'm still going to be a winner. There's still opportunities. That is how to manifest using the law of assumption, guys. That is actually how to manifest using the law of assumption. Now, once that confidence kicks in, 
whatever nerve you have if you've been feeling nervous it's going to die down the way you're going to work on that stage is going to be so confident and like you're going to even think of yourself as a winner already that's like the law of assumption but if it's the other way around guys you're even going to repel yourself from actually winning do you understand you're going to repel for yourself from actually winning. now you're already oh my god what if i don't win what if people laugh at me how am i going to start all over again this da, da, da. No, no 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 don't do that you need to think yourself as a winner every time no matter the circumstances like even though you're not even announced as a winner you're already a winner in your own head that's your mental shift you need to go out there acting dressing talking like the person you're assuming as yourself you can be able to align with your future self now you are attracting who you're initially now going to be who your future self is you need to be so confident because the more you detach, like I said in the other one about the point of detachment, the more you detach, the more you attract. I want you guys to also carry this confidence into every area of your life, especially your lowest moment, especially when you're feeling in life. Carry that confidence. Yes, that I'm a winner. It's not going to be a permanent condition. It's just a temporary condition. And I know with based on my potential, I have made it. Simple as that. Like I said about my YouTube channel, if I had just told myself, you know what, I'm not receiving a whole lot of views, I just tend to completely give up on my YouTube journey. I'm not going to see the growth I'm seeing right now. People who have gotten to 100k subscribers, they started somewhere. They started from one subscribers. They started from 10 subscribers. They started somewhere before they got there. If they had quit, they wouldn't have gotten to where they are. I saw something on Instagram, right? They even spoke about um, the person that, you know, invented Disneyland. I think he showed his project to about 300, over 300 investors, which all of them actually turned down. We're looking at um, the vacuum um, cleaner owned by a man. He had to use 5,000 and something trials and it was 500 like i think 5216 um trials before he got it on the 5217th a whole lot of people have tried look at um kfc look at different people if they had quit will you think they would have been successful at this point in time so imagine quitting i'm still growing right now so imagine quitting now nah. This is something I'm never ever gonna do. Now, so how do you practice it day by day? So, for example, if you want a romantic relationship, please do not download, <laughs> um, don't download dating apps. Don't do that. Don't be expecting oh your crush to come and be you like you're anticipating his um dms on you know instagram don't be so desperate for that don't go out there texting men or sending men dms or whatever and being so desperate what you're gonna do right now is allowing yourself to be vulnerable Op be open to receiving love be open to receiving love now at that point in time what you're gonna do is just to focus on who you are focus on leveling up Focus on your goals, what you want to do. And trust me, at that time, you're going to be focusing on your goals. As you're going to elevate, you're now going to be exposed and attract the sort of man that you want, the sort of relationship that you want, the sort of companionship that you want in your life. If you're operating at, you know, that chat. If you're operating at love, happiness, that is what you're going to attract. But if you're operating at shame, guilt, you are going to repel so much that you're meant to, you know, start receiving for your dream life. I need to reduce my standards during dating. In dating. Do not ever do that. Now you're inculcating the level of low self-esteem. And that energy repels you from your dream relationship. That energy repels you from the dream job you want. That energy repels you from the finances you dream about. That you're not worthy, you're not smart enough, you're not intellectual enough. That's, that's, that's rubbish. Under that law of assumption, there are two things I'm going to tell you right now. It's to speak into existence and act into existence. Now, speaking into existence, the way I do it is affirmations. 
I'm not gonna lie, affirmations. I am ready for love. I am peace. I attract. I receive. Those affirmations, you can go on pin interest and get affirmations based on whatever aspect of your life you really want. Outcome of avoidance. Speaking into existence, you need to avoid, you know, saying negative things. Please avoid this complaining. Oh, um, okay, look at this. You've not gone you've not gone on a date for like two years right now someone wants to go on a date you're not complaining oh my god i have not dated how am i going to do this how am i going to do that what if it doesn't come out right what if the guy doesn't like my physique what if the guy doesn't like me what if i'm boring what if it doesn't work out what if what if what if is there a point for you going no, you don't do things like that. Now you're meant to be like this. Now stop all those negative thinking, stop all those negative thoughts and start thinking differently. Like now, think that, oh, I'm going to enjoy this date. I'm going to have, I'm going to be myself. I'm going to have the fullest fun. I'm just going to enjoy myself. What's meant for me will find me. You need to know that what's meant for you will find you. You don't have to force anything. You don't have to do all that. You don't have to worry. You don't have to self-sabotage a relationship that you don't even know the foundation yet. Affirmations, as long as you're positive and you're not negative, trust me, you are going to attract whatever it is that you want. It's not about, oh, I want to get money. I want to have a better job. No, 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 no. It is, I am financially abundant. You need to be careful on what you wish for. And like I told you, you need to be careful on how you tend to manifest some certain kind of things acting into existence is all about you know living in your dream life fake it till you make it like they say anyways guys don't do extraordinary things just to you know fake it till you make it but then like they said act like the person you want to become now i put efforts in the way i look good i buy my jewelries i buy you know cosmetics i buy nice hairs i you know get luxurious clothes so i put effort in you know looking classy looking like the way i want to visualize myself or my future self in the way i want to be do you understand this? Buy elegant clothes. You don't have to break the bank. Like I told you, you do not have to break the bank. You can be very simple. You can be very simple and still, you know, look expensive. Now, how I tend to act into existence, like now, um, there's this local cafe. Um, don't go to local cafes. Go to cafes in, you know, an expensive hotel. Please just buy only one cafe. <laughs> just visualize yourself act into that person what i do is that what i do right now i act into existence is that i work in luxurious cafes i work i take my work you know whatever i want to do on my laptop you know if i have work if i have meetings i can take it to the flower cafe i can take it to you know different sort of luxurious cafe there is eric Kesa. you can work there you see yourself working there you see yourself you're visualizing you're acting into existence because you want to be surrounded with luxury so guys you know one thing that aches me the most and one thing that i hate associating is this set of people that tend to like if you want to go out let me let me just get some of this street have the mindset of you can afford anything I hate it when I have that mindset of you can afford anything. I hate it when we're like, oh my God, should I be spending too much money? Should I really get this? Should I really get that? I'm not saying you should spend your money lavishly. You understand? If something, if you see something that, you know, works good for your skin, if you see something that you know you love, spend that money. Buy whatever you love. One thing I tell myself is that, Oh, when I see something good, I see something that fits my style, whatever it is, I buy it because I always, in my head, I'm always like, money will come. Because I know what I'm working towards. I know that I'm going to work towards getting that money. Do you understand? Don't feel like, oh, every time, don't have that mindset of, oh my God, you want to go buy something and be like, ah, this thing is too expensive. Ah, it's too much. Ah, nah, don't do that. Have a broad mindset of you can literally afford anything let me tell you something even though you don't have one million even though you don't have 500 million right you will just tell yourself ah i want to be able to afford you see this 500k i'm gonna afford it next month i'm gonna buy this next month i'm gonna because i know i can afford that it's nothing to me once you start having that mindset my dear you start attracting whatever volume of 
finances or whatever it is you want not that you're going to be greedy or stingy to you know providing for who you really want to be if you're manifesting well you can even you know do a window shopping in chanel you can do a window shopping in good even though you don't really have that money yet you can just do a window shopping because you want to act into existence of the sort of luxury lifestyle you want if you want a soft life let me tell you something here yeah? all these things that people say oh i'm suffering i'm getting this i'm getting that nah people that want to live a soft life they are not wired to thinking that, you know, they want to start rushing or they are maybe bothered about, you know, getting to work at some certain type of time. They are running, running over the bus, this, that, 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 that. You're scattered. You know, you don't, if you want to live a soft life, you have to align your time, your schedule according to the way you want to. Do you understand you don't have to you have to be organized you have to know what you really want and you have to put it as a priority if you want to live a soft life you can't be doing yaga 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 nine to five you are sorry yeah, yeah you, you're jumping but you're, this is on you're sweating you're sweating already in the morning you're doing all of those things if you had set your goals and time right you're you you're gonna see yourself in the office as clean as without even sweating none of that is gonna happen there are some people that have there's something called scarcity mindset that there are some people that will be like oh if i don't work from some certain amount of time if i don't work if i'm not sweating then i'm not being productive do you know that eh? that's why i always tell people to always work smartly not hardly like you can work hard but make sure you work smarter than you work hard there are some times that a lot of people tend to work so hard and then their productivity is very, very low. So you need to change that concept and tend to balance it in your own wavelength. Like you don't have to do everything at the same time. If you need to rest, take a rest. I'm telling you, take a rest if you need to rest. Um, at some point in my life, I was always thinking that, oh, me doing this, me doing that. It makes me feel like, oh, yes, I'm doing the most of the things. Like, but then... If I reflected on my productivity, if I, if I reflected on a whole lot of things, I just saw myself like I was not really, you know, I was stressing myself and, you know, all of these results were very low and I started taking a rest. I started giving myself a break. That whole thing literally made me open my mind into some certain kind of things I needed to start doing. Like when I was on my lowest, I lost a lot of friends. I was going through it. But guess what? My own secret was that the way I worked, I worked like I was on the wrong way. You need to embody yourself regardless of whatever you're going through. I was embodying the sort of energy frequency, the vibration of my ideal self. Chapter four is I'm going to give you a practical assignment, yeah? Now that you guys know how to manifest, now that I'm giving you tips and the most easiest ways to manifest your dream life, life-changing tips, I'll give you this to like set you up for the journey. You just get started with whatever you want to manifest in your dream life. Do this one thing. First of all, write, get a paper or, you know, open your notes on your phone. Write down and be specific and clear. Write down all your goals. Because make sure they are extremely detailed. Make sure they are clear and be specific number two if you're struggling being specific there's always a method called using the five double w's you know the five w's that's what why who where when what you want for yourself why do you want that you know do you want that because you want to make make sure that your parents retire do you want to be an entrepreneur because you want to gain some certain kind of um you know money to take your siblings over there and be specific about what you want why do you want to be a youtuber what is it why do you want to open a foundation is it to impact life is it to provide for the need all of those things there is a reason why so you're going to use that when forming each of your goals when you want this if you want this at the end of the year you want this at this you're gonna do all that that's why i said when it comes to what you know what amount of zeros do you want to see in your bank accounts by the end of the year once you're done with that create a real vision or a digital vision a place that you know that once you do your vision but you're just going to paste it there and once you're leaving your room you're going to look at it and that tends to just motivate you throughout that day or if you're going to have a laptop or phone because me like i said i have my own on my laptop i have my own on my phone that reminds me each day of my goals and what exactly i need to be doing to get there. now screenshot what i want you guys to do is screenshot this vibrational chart I want you guys to 
started this chat so you can tend to draw yourself and know when you're you know having guilt having doubt having shame to tell you that now you're actually repelling on who you really want to be because now this is going to structure you in the way you need to go and the way you need to follow and the way you need to change who and the attributes and the attitude you really are you're doing that so you can remind yourself reprogramming it's just that reprogramming your subconscious mind because that is the major thing that tends to move you as a human that tends to move you in manifestation every sort of insecurities start now what i always say is take the first step wear it if you want to open whatever it is take the first step by saving the lash tech or you want to start lashes or you want to start youtube take the first step by creating an email take the first step by creating a page take the first step by designing it on canva at least just take the first step get up and take the first step and manifest the sort of life you want for yourself guys this is the end of my video hope i gave an tips on how to actually manifest your dream life and please follow me on my social media pages so we can be close friends because i already know we're close friends on here so we can get closer just follow me on my instagram page my snapchat my twitter and my tiktok i'm gonna be seeing you guys in the next video i love you all so much thank you for staying to the end of this video please write down in the comment section which ways worked for you and how you actually applied it in your daily life my name still remains naomi of you your forever bestie love you and see you next time bye